Hello, darling. Okay, so this is um, Chester, Chester from Chester Lane, and he's got some um, glucose around his face uh, because he, the carer gave him some glucose last night, glucose powder. He's also got a head tilt, a marked head tilt to his right. And see how he's hooking his foot over the um, both bars rather than just hooking it over one like this, like just the toes over. That means he's feeling dizzy. He's really making, keeping his options open. Hello. Hello, darling. Hello. Oh, you've got something in your mouth. That's good. They forget that they're eating grapes sometimes. Hello. You know, it puts it in his mouth and then they forget they're chewing it, the head injuries. And you do something and they discover it's back in their mouth again and they start chewing. Sometimes it, it might be hours. Are you hooking that foot in, are you? Hours later and they discover they've got a mouthful of grapes or I might wake them up in the morning and they've still got last night's grapes in their mouth. Hello. And it's all new and exciting. Hello, Chester. So we're at the vets and we're just going to look at his this eye here because it um, looks like it, it's um, got blood in it in the chamber in his eye, maybe the anterior chamber. Okay, let me just let him hook his feet onto me and rub his boy bits on me just so that I have to wash this. I'm just going to turn the light off so we can look at his eye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you dilating it, his pupils? No. Or was that wasn't the... Um... That's just the left hand so he's going to use his eye open. Okay. Hello. He's very... Um, he's not really all with us. When you're finished. Yeah, he's got a white thing here on his eye, on the surface of his eye. Yep, so we'll stain that. That's going to be an ulcer. Yep. And he has yeah, some bleeding. He does, you're correct. He's got bleeding in the anterior chamber. <laughs> it was really hard to see. But, but his pupil looks okay. Does he need atropine? Hello. Okay, okay mate. let's stain his eyes then. <clears throat> I like it when I actually pick something. That's all right. So he's had eye goop in his eyes just as a lubricant. Did it go in that other eye? Look, I thought it did. Yeah, it has. <laughs> it has. Yeah. Aren't you a cooperative boy, considering how cranky he was yesterday? Sorry, mate, can you put the blue light close? Because mm -hmm. I'm not vaccinated, I can't. Um, do we need you to stand in the light as we well? Do. Yeah. Okay, so there's some stain up tape. Over that ulcer there. Yep. Oh, it's a big one, isn't I it? I know. That's a big nasty one. I actually didn't Let's pick that up. yesterday because he didn't I'll open his eye. Just move it away. Yeah. Then. Just open his eye, and now put it back on. Sorry. Okay, so it's deep. How did you? I can see that it's thick. Yeah. Okay. Not just sort of a mottled surface. Are you looking at this? The white thing. There's a little um, deep area of stain on this right end of it. Yeah. Okay. And do you want to do the other side? No, I'll switch. Yeah. It's stain in the light as well. Yeah. <coughs> and just put the blue light oh, right. He's got one there as well, hasn't he? But the just open his eyelids. There's a little bit of stain uptake on that eye as well. Okay. So, Optison, Canoptal, either or? I'd probably do, uh, you want drops of cream, you happy cream in you? Yeah, goopy, okay. goop stays in. Let's put Optison eye ointment in four times a day. Okay. You can have meloxicam. Yep. And I would atropinize that right eye so he doesn't get a scar in the constricted position. Okay, have you got any? Remember Not how we tried it last <coughs> time? Um, Were able to find a, a dilute cream? Um, we used um, something. I got it from um, Rosemary, remember? Oh, that's right. I think. I know. I'll just bring this other thing to the kids. But we can dilute it because we've used it before, um, not as dilute. 
by just putting a tiny little bit in. Oh, it's a bit better. He's very head tilty. Okay. All right. That's for the high femur. Isn't he gorgeous? His name's Chester. You don't have any, okay. Aren't you beautiful boy? He's got a head injury. Uh, no, because he didn't come to me though. Optison. I'm pretty sure I've got Optison at home or Canoptor. It doesn't really matter, does it? Optison is critical. Why? Because the Coram Cynical reaches really good concentration. Hey, mate. Considering you were so cranky yesterday, <laughs> you are really, really quiet, aren't you? So we normally do this and then upgrade to Ocuflox if we've got a bone okay. that's not sensitive. Okay, so Optison, it's got to be Optison then. I'll get some be because just in case Storm doesn't have any. Are you going to go back to lie down, sweetheart? Tiny amount. Mm -hmm. No worries. He's an adult male, as you can see. He has boy bits. And he stinks. Oh, yeah, he stinks, <laughs> don't you? He does, he stinks, don't you? Not as bad as you would stink during breeding season. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, yeah thank you. Um, Any more flying foxes that come in, I'll be here. Yeah, we need a strict that. no vaccine, no touchy. Okay, mate. <laughs> hey, mate. Okay, you don't have to escape. You don't have to escape. There we are. You don't have to escape. I said, well, my YouTube channel pays for my petrol. Mm, including your special petrol, Meg? Your own special? personal fuel? Oh, bubbles. Yes, it pays for my bubbles as well. 